This morning, a return visit from Rich Cohen. Cohen has written about pirates, gangsters, the Rolling Stones, religion, and his beloved Chicago sports teams, just to name a few. All of it's made him one of the rangiest and most prolific authors in America. This week, he's out with a new book that may be his most personal yet. It's about him and his family, his son specifically, and the wild and crazy world of youth sports. Here, Dad, pass. There is not much in life better than passing a ball or puck back and forth with your kid. Go to the net. It's a little thing, but also everything. With the exquisite highs that come with bonding over sports, however, come the inevitable lows. And Rich Cohen has done a damn fine job documenting both in his latest book, Pee Wee's Confessions of a Hockey Parent. This can consume your life. It does consume my life. This is this. Welcome to my house. <laughs> we met Cohen at Danbury Ice Arena in Connecticut, one of the places his youngest son played during one memorable season. Rationally, I know I shouldn't care about it, and I'll tell myself at the beginning of every season that this season's going to be different, and this season I'm not going to care. And then I get into the stands, and I feel like I'm going to like pass out from the intensity of it. Pee Wee's, named after 11 and 12 year olds, is laid out by months of the year as winter tightens its grip and Cohen's son's team inches toward a regional tournament. These are not after school pickup games. They're matches both early morning and late night, long weekends of travel, and one parent taking a hard look at everything that went down. Cohen doesn't leave out much drama. You talk about arguments with coaches. You talk about getting very angry yeah. with little kids. Your wife had to pull you away from the sport for a while and wouldn't even let you go. Right. I mean, <laughs> I went, I lost my mind. And it's stupid and it's not important. It's so maybe the fact that it is stupid and it's not important is what makes it so important. It's like cheering for sports in general. Yeah, it's like my father grew up with Larry King. Larry used to always say sports is the most important, unimportant thing in the world. And that's why you lose your mind over it, because it's almost like you transfer everything from the rest of the world into this ring. And that's when people act really bad, when, they, when the game becomes a symbol for everything. And it's, it, it becomes, unfortunately, a lot more important for the parents than, than the kids. But that's the blessing. See, one of the reasons why I think hockey is the best sport is the plexiglass. Because the parents are up there yelling, but the kids can't hear them. Right now, most youth sports are either on pause or dramatically scaled back. But that wasn't the case as Cohen's book builds to a series of youth games in Lake Placid, home 40 years ago to another group of amateurs. And the greatest American sports moment of the 20th century, hockey's miracle on ice. You say in the book, you said, when it's functioning like it's supposed to, youth hockey is one of the few communities where America still works. Yes. What does that mean? Every kid on the ice can score at any time. Every kid's involved. Every kid's important. And it's like horses pulling uh, a cart. So basically, it means that it really is a meritocracy. It really is the best kids playing together, playing with kids at your level, and playing as a true team where everybody has to sublimate, to some degree, their own talent and their own ego and their own desire to make the whole thing go. He's gotten good. And he's, he's different now than he was when you wrote the book. Yeah, he's playing with really good players, so he's gotten good, because play with better players, you get better or you quit, basically. We won't spoil the ending of Pee Wee's, but like it or not, if you're a parent, you'll likely see at least some of yourself inside. You'll see your kids, too. And it might help you take everything a little less seriously, or not. At the end of all this, do you feel like by writing this book, you fixed whatever went wrong? No, probably not. I mean, I thought maybe. You know, and then now because of the COVID, we're not really playing these games. But there was a game. There was one game early in the season. I'm like, I'm a totally different person. I've written this book. I've come to deal with it. And I went to the game. It was in New Jersey. And uh, my son was sitting when I thought he should be playing. You know, he was sitting too much. And I felt it well up in me. I felt the old beast coming back. So I'm like, you know, that's when you go outside and count back. Counting backwards from 10 is very important for a hockey parent.
10, <laughs> 9, can, 8. So you can, you can relate, I can totally right? relate. Yeah. My, yeah. My, my son played basketball, and it was like, Mom, could you please just sit down? Yeah, that's because down. the parents end up, and it's the counting backwards. The, the, better, the more important thing is what the when he talks about the coaches in the book, the 24-hour rule. And that is all the parents trying to get their comments in and, and talk about the game after. And the coach is like, 24 hours. Yeah. You sleep on it, like you wait. We right. can talk about it tomorrow, which is probably what more people should do. That is brilliant. With social media and everything exactly. else. Exactly. We are new hockey parents, by the way, right now. Congratulations. We are learning how to experience this. I think it's great. The kids love it. And he's right. They're all so involved.